Registrar of the Scholarship Secretary, Dr. Kingsley Ajiman, is advocating for swift legislation regarding scholarship distribution in the country to streamline the process. He says the current challenge faced by officers in making decisions is due to the absence of clear legislation defining who qualifies as a needy individual. Dr. Ajiman emphasizes the necessity of scholarship legislation to dispel any misconception about eligibility criteria. But the law that set up uh, the uh, secretariat, um, which group of people are you supposed to target? I'm asking this question because a lot of concerns have come up regarding the way uh, scholarships are being issued. Uh, some believe that you, under your watch, you, you've been uh, issuing scholarship to uh, politicians, uh, close allies, those uh, with connection to the top and those needy but deserving students have been left out. What is the main focus of the uh, scholarship secretariat? Okay, so you asked about an establishment act. Mm. I'm sorry to say that there's no establishment act for, for, the, uh, for the scholarship secretariat. It's been, a, it's been an issue, one of the key things that I think needs public uh, discussions. If I'm fortunate to go to so, parliament. So, so that leaves you to just do whatever you feel like doing? Oh, everything ha has to be done in tandem with reasonability. Mm, discretion? Yeah, maybe, largely, because, uh, because there's no enabling act. So questions or issues like, uh, why do you give people to go and train outside when there are similar courses here? I mean, those are very oversimplified questions just to cut public sympathy. In Ghana, who we usually refer to as the middle income NS are public sector workers. Mm -hmm. Public sector workers or civil servants yeah. or people of your, you cry, you be a high income No, owner. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> the question you ask is, public sector workers or those that we are defining as a middle income NS, mm. do they, are they really middle income earners in tandem with best practices or best economic conditions. Okay. Civil servants are largely paid between $100 and uh, let's say $300. And you call that one as middle income. So to you, the point is that even civil servants, they fall within the category of, of people who really need this support. Of course. Every Ghanaian, except the high earners. Mm. Which most of the time, it is very difficult to. So, so who are those that you classify as the high end? Because we have seen list of MPs, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. ministers of state, also benefiting from this uh, uh, funding. And so do they also fall under that uh, same category? So we need to put in perspective, we need to put in perspective rightly okay. who, who, who these needy people are and how do we determine need. I remember going through my orientation program. That was the first question I asked. That is this thing that needy by brilliant, needy by brilliant. Who is a needy person? How do you guys assess who a needy person is? Do you use some kind of voodooism to, <laughs> to, 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 you know, uh, ascertain this thing? So the first thing I did was to work opposition the secretary towards a decentralized process. Okay. Because for me, that is more rigorous than me sitting in Accra or the secretary sitting in Accra to determine the need of somebody at uh, Akokwaso, 